Hey everyone! Wow, it has been a very long time since I've put out any new YouTube videos. This video is going to be a blog format video. So last March, I started running. Um, I was walking a lot before that. I made a routine of it for like a couple years. And when I started running, especially this summer, I got super into it and it became super enjoyable. Something about running and listening to music, having earbuds in and just like just vibing to the music and I've I've actually come across a lot of new stuff that I really like um, and it just energizes you depending on um, like the tempo and beat and that kind of thing and just like faster paced songs and I find that some songs have words that directly kind of correlate with running and um, just uh, making it your best and you know giving it your all or just being positive uh, that kind of thing and just you know so that kind of helps um, <laughs> so over the summer I got to participate in a virtual running event and this one that I chose was a challenge and it had four different activities in it or events. Um, and you could spread them out throughout the week as you do them. Um, and then I submit the, the results of each one when I record them on my Apple Watch. Um, and I think I use Strava also. I connected my watch uh, workout app to Strava so that kind of helps. So there was a 10 mile run a five mile run a 5k and a one mile and it was really cool to see myself complete each thing and i got medals and this is my 10 mile medal here and it's pretty big <laughs> i got a medal for each event that i did and uh I think the 10 mile means a lot to me because 10 miles is the most I've ever ran at once. And to me, that's a lot for somebody that is new to running. Um, and then this one mile medal I got means a lot to me as well. It's my favorite medal actually of all the different medals that I got. Um, I think having a one mile medal is a reminder, a tangible reminder that at one point I had to run an entire mile like when I started to run for the first time and it's just like knowing like I had to complete that and then I just added on to that more miles as I felt ready and comfortable and able and everything um, so it's just kind of cool to have the tangible reminders especially on like days when it's like oh, maybe you're not having the best day and it's like you I touch the metal and I'm like medals and I just think I I did these like I was able to win these medals or earn them I should say by uh, working hard by running um, so it's kind of cool um, running obviously has a lot of physical and mental benefits to it it helps people uh, you can maintain a healthy weight um, it can help people to lose weight um, it helps with the cholesterol and uh, the blood flow to the heart and it helps your muscle in general your heart muscle to be stronger um, mentally it can boost your mood I find that it helps me a lot um, you just feel better no matter what afterwards um, they talk about the euphoria or runner's high um, it can help with anxiety, I think, um, and uh, it also, studies have said that it also helps with depression, um, and it can work alongside other um, coping uh, strategies or uh, treatments and that kind of thing. Um, so I'm, I'm really glad that I've, uh, that I've gotten into running, and uh, it's fun to hear stories from other runners, family and friends, or those that I don't even know, and just obstacles that they've overcome. Um, maybe in different kinds of weather, it could be pouring rain or snowing, cold, super hot, all kinds of 
of different situations and just pushing through and just knowing you're going to get there. And I think that that's a big part of it too in the ment- mental sense as you just gain that that uh, motivation of uh, you look at the fact that you just completed a one mile or a 5k or, or something bigger than that and you're like I did that I was able to do that and then you carry that over into another area of your life and you think about challenges that are are going on or something you have to overcome or deal with or something and you just think about the running and then you're like I can do this I can handle this that kind of thing so it can really help you and boost your esteem and stuff like that um, and over the summer also, my boyfriend helped me find my first pair of running shoes ever. Um, obviously I wouldn't have running shoes otherwise because I didn't run until recent, but so that was fun, like trying on all kinds of different shoes by different brands and everything and to find the right ones, uh, with a comfortable fit. So that was fun. Um, and now I kind of know the brand and style that would probably work best for me because that's important that you find what's comfortable for you and your foot and everything like that. Um, and I also got to participate this summer in an uh, in-person event um, with my sister and boyfriend and brother-in-law and it was a 5k event and we all ran and it was nice to run in a group like that. That was a really fun experience. Um, this summer a lot um, my boyfriend and I would run outside and that was really cool for me because I always wondered what it's like to run outside and I got to hold his hand and he we kept an ear out for each other even though we were both listening to music and he would tell me um, we're turning now or there's a bump or there's a curb or we're going on the grass for a second and just different things he would just shout out to me and um well, sort of, because, like, I have to turn down the music. <laughs> no. But, um, so that was just nice. It was, like, fresh air, running, and just being outside, and it was just really cool. And, and sometimes it would be mornings, and it was, like, I'm not a morning person, but that would get me out of bed. I'm, like, oh, we're about to run. Like, okay, I'll get up, and, you know. I think the hardest thing is, um, is the drinks that you can make, and it's, like, uh, like a, a mix. Uh, it's, like, a, I forget what the word is but it's uh, like you mix it in it's kind of like like it tastes kind of like Kool-Aid but it's got all this vitamins and stuff you need for a run and I just can't get past the taste of a lot of that it's weird and different so I just try to run without it and it's different for sure but um so that's kind of what I've been up to um I also have had been using my Mac like so much more especially toward the end of the summer and Till now even um, before it would just sit around a lot and I feel like I've really gotten a handle on like I just like googling and using all the different settings to make web browsing um, better and uh, just seeing how uh, the settings depending on how you uh, set them can affect your the way you browse certain kind of websites because some websites are set up differently than others and where you find the headings and uh, different things so it's just kind of cool and like getting a better feel of like finder and different programs on mac um it's just uh rewarding to me to see my progress with uh, using mac and stuff um so that's kind of uh where i've been hi and now we have cody who i don't know if he's in the camera oh but now he's going behind the computer so so yeah that's kind of where i've been and i plan to to make a video soon of um some of the things I've learned on Mac and just I don't know if it's going to be a screen recording video where it's just going to be my screen and me talking I'll make sure I'm uh, in it like talking wise but you just might not see my face it could be a video though where I my boyfriend might kindly uh video it like uh, film it for me but uh we'll we'll see how things go <laughs> but yeah so that's kind of been where uh, what I've been up to and everything so uh, hopefully it's not too boring, but uh, thanks so much for watching today's video. Thank you. Showcast, stop recording.